Just pretend I have like 16 arms. What's going on folks and welcome to another reputized video. Slender Man was directed by Sylvain White and stars Joey King and some other actors. I'm so sorry folks. I couldn't even get into this movie enough to name all the stars. This is one of those movies where I didn't know if I was going to review it all or not. That's why I'm late with it. But it follows these four friends who comes obsessed with the lore of Slender Man and wants to prove that it's wrong. But when one of their friends goes missing, they go try to find her and they run into the Slender Man. This movie, it wasn't good. I was warned. Yes, I am talking to you, my wonderful subs that reviews movies in the most awesomest way. Y'all warned me. Chris Stuckman, who's like the champion, my idol. Even he said that this movie kind of sucked. And y'all were right. Okay, with the positives, I can't say that there was much at all. The jump scares, the music, the even the lighting in this movie. It just, it wasn't good. I couldn't see what was going on at all throughout this whole movie. Only some of the scenes that took place in the daytime, those are the only times I could tell what was going on. But when they were getting into like, not so much scary parts, and whenever the Slender Man would about to appear, I couldn't tell what was going on. And the characters, oh my gosh. I'm just going to go ahead and name off the negatives. Because that's pretty much all I've got for this movie. I know, that's sad. The characters, the story, the writing, the music, the lighting. When Slender Man actually showed up, he wasn't impressive at all. This movie is actually based on a case that actually happened a few years back. Of course, there was nothing supernatural about it. It's just these girls who were playing this prank on this uh, college student, if I remember correctly. They lured her out into the woods, and they were going to kill her. Like I said, this happened several years ago, so I can't remember exactly the outcome of it. But that's what this movie is based on. And I felt like if they made this movie around that time instead of now, they waited too long. I feel like if it was made back then, a better result would have come out of it. That's all I'm saying. Keep in mind, Svein White is the same guy that did the third I Know What You Did Last Summer titled I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer. That should have been my first clue. Now look, I'm not trying to down anybody. If they put their mind to it, anybody has a great potential to be a good filmmaker, a great filmmaker, if they get the proper materials handed to them. And I think that's the problem. Guys like Jamie Blanks and this guy, Sylvain White, they, they don't get that much of a chance. They don't get good material getting thrown at them. And I don't understand why. I don't, I don't know if it's one of those things that Hollywood plans to chew them up and spit them out, like that saying goes. To me, it's a shame. I think everybody deserves a chance to write a good story and, a, and make a good movie. And I think Sylvain White could be one of those. Again, it just comes down to, ma to the material. Getting back to Slender Man, it, it just wasn't good. The story, the acting in it, some of the plot holes in it, I just didn't care for. The friends was like, you know, trying to figure out what happened to her friend. And then they, they, they had to follow certain rules, but they were stupid. And they didn't follow them. And it, it's like, seriously... It, it really frustrated me. Not like Halloween when, okay, people act stupid in slashers as well, yes. But there's a more rational reason for that. You're dealing with a flesh and blood killer in something like Halloween. But you're dealing with something supernatural based in Slender Man, which you absolutely have to follow the rules. I just, and they, they never did anything right in this movie. I just, I couldn't get into it. It wasn't good. I'm just going to get straight to the point. Slender Man gets an F. <laughs> it, it, it is what it is. Now, there might be some people out there that actually liked it, but most critics like myself and others, I'm right on there with y'all. 
I had nothing else better to do. <laughs> I hope you like this video guys. Like, subscribe, get reputized. Make sure to subscribe to my Reactor Reactions Galore YouTube channel, which is in the description down below. And also like the Repster and the Reactor on Facebook, which you can also find down below. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. Share this video even, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace the Rip.